Hey everyone, it's Tanisha again. So I'm about to go um, to K-State Rec and work out. But first, I just wanted to give you guys a little look at what I'm going to be eating before I go. I have two pieces of bread with peanut butter and um, bananas on top. It's definitely a lot better if you have whole wheat bread. Unfortunately, I only have white bread, so I was just going to make it do with what I had. But um, it's definitely a great um, pre-workout. Make sure that you eat at least um, 45 minutes um, you know, prior to eating. Definitely eat something, so this is what I'm eating. Um, have a good workout, everyone. There is this rumor going around that says that if you don't eat before a workout or if you um, you know go on a fast before right before a workout that you burn more fat lose more calories things like that that is a myth do not believe it if you do not eat before you work out um, you won't have the energy to work out there are a lot of um, different foods that you want to try to eat before you work out. You don't want to, you know, have any fatty or sugary foods. That's one thing to kind of avoid. Now, a lot of people try um, to go half and half, 50% protein and 50% um, carbs. You can definitely increase your carbs if you're not going to have a very long workout. So if you're having something between like a 30 to maybe hour workout, um, you know, you might want to pack on more carbs. If you're having maybe like a two hour workout, you might want to try to pack on more protein. So definitely kind of base your meals off of that. Um, and definitely don't eat right, right before you work out. Um, Eating too close to your workout can cause um, like a lot of sluggishness, um, low energy still, um, indigestion, vomiting. So you don't want to eat too close to your workout. It's really recommended to eat um, more like 45 minutes to two hours before you work out. Um, two hours would give you enough time to have a nice um, meal while as if you only have around 45 minutes something like a snack will will be just fine but you have to eat if you don't eat before you work out you will not have the energy um, to continue your workout at full intensity if you don't have intensity um, your work you won't benefit as much from your workout as you could also um, if you don't eat before you work out when your body body starts burning off things um, it, it when you don't have any more because you didn't eat, you didn't, you know, you didn't fuel up. When your body um, doesn't really have anything else to take, it starts going for from thing. It starts taking from places that you you're trying to build like muscle and things like that. So you definitely want to make sure you eat before you work out. And there are so many different things you can eat. I mean, bananas, Greek yogurt, hummus, um, granola, oats. Um, bagels, whole wheat bagels, whole wheat bread, um, peanut butter. So definitely make sure you eat before you work out. I'm telling you, eat before you work out. Always make sure that you have something to keep you hydrated when you go work out. I usually take a Gatorade. Um, there are tons of different flavors and sizes. Um, um, but make sure you stay hydrated. Um, bring a water bottle with water. Don't bring any sugary drinks like soda or fruit juices. Um, they're really bad for working out and they really actually don't keep you hydrated at all. So bring water or Gatorade or Powerade or something of that sort to go work out. It's definitely make sure you warm up and cool down before working out. Warming up um, reduces you know the chance of you um, you know getting injured while you're, you're working out and then cooling down after your workout is great to make sure that you're loosening up those muscles um, and making sure you're bringing your your um, your heart rate down to a normal level um, after an intense workout so make sure that you do do a pre warm up and a cool down so here are some tips to I guess get the most out of your workout First, you have to be mentally prepared to work out. You have to, you know, because working out is a huge commitment. You have to make sure you're mentally prepared, uh, make sure you're motivated, determined. Great way to stay 
motivated um, is taking a friend to the gym. I know um, a great thing to do is to set a goal and a time frame. You have to be realistic though. Set a realistic goal for yourself. I've been going into the summer after my first year in college, I set a realistic goal for myself. I said by the end of the summer, I want to reach 150 pounds. I set a reward for myself. And I said, if I reach 150 pounds by the end of the summer, I'll get my belly button pierced. That was my reward for myself. And at the end of the, end of the summer, I weighed myself and I was 148 pounds. So I definitely met my goal, it was great. So I ended up losing around 35 pounds in the summer, which was incredible. So, you know, set realistic goals. You have to, you know, have your, your mentality of, oh, I'm gonna work out and be motivated. You wanna make sure that you have a reward afterwards. You cannot weigh yourself every single day because you're not gonna see results that way. So, weigh yourself every two weeks. You could, you'll see the results a lot better when you do that. Um, just because if you if you weigh yourself every day, you're not going to see the results at all. You know, it's like oh my gosh, I'm not doing any work when you you really are. But it takes a little time, so you have to you have to be patient. Make sure you wear comfortable clothes. Do not get to the gym in something that you you haven't really tried out yet. And you know you get there and it's falling off of you or it's you know you know kind of riding up or something. Make sure it's something comfortable. Make sure you know how it fits when you move and do different things because you don't want any rashes or blisters or anything. Make sure you wear tennis shoes to the gym on your run. Anything. You guys would be surprised at how many people I've actually seen at the rec wearing Nike flip flops actually working out. Even if you're not doing anything with your your feet you know if you're please wear clothes and the shoes please it's for your safety somebody drops something on your foot so you don't twist your ankle please wear clothes tennis shoes there they actually um have some some great material um it's called dry fit and i definitely would recommend it for working out um it's really just a fabric um, that moves the sweat away from your body and then it, it takes it to the fabric su the fabric surface and then that's where it evaporates. So it keeps you um, you know dry and comfortable because the sweat's not on you it's, it's on the, the shirt and it evaporates. So I definitely would you know go look out for some dry fit. Um, um, some other great things. Like I said, you got to be consistent. you have to, you know, say, oh, okay, I'm going to work out, you know, four days a week, five days a week. You know, set something that you're going to do and that's realistic to you. Um, don't just kind of do three days here, one day there, five days there. Make sure that you have something consistent. You know, you don't have to work out every day. You know, it's not in everyone's time to work out, in, you know, every day of the week. So make sure you have something set for you. Another thing, when you get to the gym, know where you, what you're going to work out. Have a plan already set if you're doing straight, uh, strength training, interval training, um, cardio. You know, have know what you're going to work out on. A lot of people have arm days and leg days. Pick something that's going to work for you. Maybe Monday you should work on arms, Tuesday's legs. You know, definitely pick something out for you. Make sure you have a goal. You know what you're going to do. You know what you're trying to work out. If you're trying to, you know, tone up or lose weight, make sure you know and have a plan. Great tips during your workout. Maximize your crunches. Make sure on your descend, on your way down, you're still, you know, you still can um, sustain that contra uh, contraction in your abs and you'll get, you know, a, you know, better and tighten, you know, abs as a result. So I mean, this is good for strength training. Um, forced reps on your last set. Um, so you can have somebody spotting you on your last um, prep. And so make sure you train to fail, um, train to failure at least one set. Sauna, the sauna. Oh my gosh, I love the sauna. I go um, after my workout. Um, so tips for the sauna. Definitely make sure you're wearing the least amount of clothing. I know sometimes, like, you know, going at the rec at my school, it's kind of, you know, weird going in there naked. So I, I you know, de depending on where you're at, 
um, you can kind of adjust it, but make sure you're not wearing like the sweaty gym clothes that you just worked out in. Maybe, you know, bring a towel um, if you want to go naked, or maybe you have like a swimsuit, you know, bikini top and bottoms, or, you know, something like that. No shoes. Please don't bring your nasty little, you know, training shoes into the sauna. No. Do not. Do not. Do not. So yeah, the less close the better. The uh, a lot of places provide buckets where you can fill it up with water and pour onto the rocks. Um, great way um, to bring up like the humidity in the uh, sauna. And I usually stay anywhere between 25 to 45 minutes, really just depending on how much time I have and you know, um, you know how many people are waiting to get in there. Because ours is really small, and I hate to take up all the room. Um, ours really only fits like four people, so yeah. Um, so those are just a few of my tips for working out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your workout. So I am headed into the K State Rec now um, to go work out. This is the beautiful Rec Center here at K State. So um, I'm gonna go work out. So see you guys later. Hey everyone, so I hope you guys had a great workout. Um, I hope you guys, um, you know, used some of the tips and um, really, you know, got the most out of your workout. So now that you are done with your workout, um, I just finished my workout. I make sure that you eat something after you work out. Don't just skip your after workout meal. So make sure that you have a really good after workout meal um, just to replenish anything you may have lost during your workout. Eating after your workout, it really helps your muscles recover. You, know, you want to make sure that you have a good balance of carbs and protein. A lot of great after workout meals will include yogurt, peanut butter, um, pasta and meatballs, um, chicken, not fried, not fried chicken, um, brown rice, things like that. Um, a lot of people have maybe a fruit smoothie or some type of protein shake. So my after workout meal is going to include some Greek yogurt. I'm going to use some Greek yogurt. And this is Organic Valley, Organic Balance Milk Protein Shake. And I got dark chocolate because I'm addicted to dark chocolate. Well, I'm addicted to chocolate. I will eat chocolate all day. Um, but yeah, so make sure you eat after your workout. Do not skip your post-workout meal. It's there to replenish you, but don't go out and buy like a McDonald's burger because, I mean, that will just basically set you back from you know, what you just worked out on. So make sure you're eating something very healthy. Make sure you have your post-workout meal at most two hours after you work out. Um, you know, you want to make sure you replenish those those nutrients and you know as you know soon as possible. So don't wait longer than two hours before you um, have your post workout. I mean, if you want to take a shower, you know first that's great, but make sure you don't wait longer than two hours to you know replenish. So make sure you do um, have you know you eat something after your workout. Disclaimer: I am no physical trainer. I have no doctorate in anything dealing with exercise or health. I My major has nothing to do with fitness. So definitely um, do your research before, um, you know, trying and taking on any new fitness um, routines. I am just giving my own personal opinions of my success with working out, but definitely make sure you consult a doctor if you're going to be doing any rigorous activity to make sure that it's the best fit for you. I know a lot of different athletic facilities also have um, some great you know, trainers that you can talk to and you know, maybe get a workout plan, a fitness plan, so definitely make sure you go talk to them. Um, you know, for a second opinion and making sure that you know everything there is to know before you go work out. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to thumbs up, share, and subscribe, and tune in next time.